In a hotline session of 28th August, Professor Marco from Switzerland presented results from the investigator initiated open label master dual antiplatelet therapy trial comparing an abbreviated versus a standard duration of antiplatelet therapy after bioresorbable polymer coated serolimus eluting stent implantation in patient with acute or chronic coronary syndrome who fulfill one or more high bleeding risk criteria. Following a mandatory 30-day dual antiplatelet therapy run-in phase after percutaneous coronary intervention, eligible patients who were free from ischemic and bleeding events were randomized 1 is to 1 to receive abbreviated or standard dual antiplatelet therapy. Abbreviated treatment comprised single antiplatelet therapy until study completion except for patients receiving clinically indicated oral anticoagulation who continued single antiplatelet therapy up to 6 months after PCI. Standard treatment comprised dual antiplatelet therapy continuation for at least 5 additional months or for those receiving clinically indicated oral anticoagulation for at least 2 additional months and with continuation thereafter of single antiplatelet therapy. The three rank co-primary outcomes were 1. Net adverse clinical events with composite of all-cause death, myocardial infarction, stroke, or major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding, major adverse cardiac and cerebrovascular events which composed of all-cause death, MI, and stroke. 3. Major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding occurring between randomization and 335 days, defined as Bleeding Academic Research Consortium Type 2, 3, or 5 bleeding. A total of 4,579 patients from 30 countries were randomized at a median of 34 days after PCI. The mean age was 76 years, 69.3% were men, 36.2% were receiving concomitant oral anticoagulation and 48.3% underwent PCI for acute coronary syndrome. There was a mean of 2.1 high bleeding risk criteria per patient. The abbreviated dual antiplatelet therapy was found to be non-inferior to standard dual antiplatelet therapy in terms of net adverse clinical events and major adverse cardiac and cerebrovascular events with a hazard ratio of 0.97 and hazard ratio of 1.02 respectively with a risk difference of 0.11 percentage points. Abbreviated dual antiplatelet therapy was found to be superior to standard dual antiplatelet therapy in terms of major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding events with a hazard ratio of 0.68 with a risk difference of minus 2.82 percentage points. After PCI, in patients at high risk for bleeding and clinical or angiographic high ischemic risk, dual antiplatelet therapy of one month can reduce bleeding risk and provide similar low post-procedural ischemic events as standard dual antiplatelet therapy. Thank you.